why is going to mars not mars not a waste of money just yesterday i saw the news that people were eating sand for their survival in madagascar and many people are dying in north korea because of food crisis so you see the, these food crisis this humanitarian crisis that we have in the earth we have the money and the resources to solve all these problems today there is enough money in the world and there is there are there are enough resources in the world to ensure that not a single human being on the planet has to go hungry it's just that there is so much inequality in the world and this is all artificially induced inequality it is because of this inequality that these problems persist so certain rich nations want certain parts of the world to remain poor they want to i mean if certain parts of the world are not poor then how can you show yourself to be superior right so these problems persist because of artificial reasons now when it comes to the progress of technology of scientific progress and technological project progress that has to continue imagine if india had not invested in isro in the 1960s and 70s today india would be far behind technologically we would not have access to all the satellites that we are able to put into space of our own volition we would have to rely on other countries to launch our satellites and they would charge immense amount of money and they may do a bad job of it if they want to or they may refuse to launch certain satellites for example military satellites so all of that all of the uh, space resources that we are able to enjoy and benefit from today for example in the field of agriculture and many other things which actually benefits the poor people of india that would not be possible had india not invested in space and in the space program and therefore all of this that we are doing even the chandrayaan mission mission the mars orbital mission these are not waste of money these are improvements in our technology and these will benefit the country in the long run it will not benefit us today but short term planning is myopic planning it is short sightedness you have to always plan in the long run 30 40 50 years ahead the chinese plan 100 years ahead and that's why where they they are where they are today they are where they are today at the cusp of being a superpower and at the cusp of solving all their poverty because they started planning like this 50 years ago when 90% of their population was below the poverty line so it is only because they planned like this and they invested in science and technology that they are able to progress so much and today almost nobody in china is below the poverty line today so all of this is a valuable and worthwhile investment provided the result of this investment is reinvested back into the country and it is used to solve the country's problems so that is why i believe that i am firmly and strongly of the opinion that science and technology must keep progressing you cannot put it on hold and solve the other problems even in india today all the poverty which still exists is actually solvable in 5 years if the politicians will stop bickering among each other and stop using uh, poor people as vote banks right so poverty is maintained in india slums are maintained by politicians in india because these are captive vote banks this can all be re- uh, removed all of these the suffering and poverty and all of that can be alleviated within 5 years if the indian politicians really want to so it is not a question of wasting money on space and other things it's a question of basically uh reforming your own terrible system that's all it is that's why i i would strongly uh say that going to mars or going to the moon or going to space is not by any means a waste of money it is an investment in the future of our children and our grandchildren it needs to happen